December 3rd and day three of Vlogmas. And yes, I tend to fall back onto my Marine Corps roots periodically. In fact, this is one of the hats that I wear quite a bit when I'm out and about. Today I wanted to discuss teleprompters. There's a lot of videos on the internet where people swear by teleprompters, and there's videos where they say they're a pain. They don't use them, or they use them for features other than what they are intended to do. That can be good. At any rate, I have a soft, what I call a software uh, teleprompter, and they also make a version for the iPad and the iPhone, and they're both good. There's problems with them though. And that would be, as I will show you, <laughs> this is the uh, teleprompter that I'm presently using. Uh, it displays on your screen over your streaming software so that uh, you can look at your streaming software if you happen to have your camera mounted behind your monitor. I don't, so I'm having to use it on a, a second monitor just, just so that I can try and see what I'm saying. There is a free version, as I said, and it has an in-app upgrade to the pro version, but there's also the iOS version, which is totally free, and it's for use on your iPhone and your iPad. Now there's a downside to the uh, teleprompter in that you cannot look straight into the camera unless your camera happens to be mounted behind your monitor. Uh, whereas with the hardware teleprompters that fit over your camera, you can look straight into the camera and still see the teleprompter. It could, be, it could be useful for making notes and bullet points that you want to cover into your presentation uh, rather than trying to use an actual script. I personally have tried using an actual script, practice and practice, and it just became too difficult for me. Now down here, you'll see the, uh, the buttons this allows you to scroll it up or down. Why you would scroll backwards, I'm not quite sure. Uh, this one takes you to the beginning of your script, and this one takes you to the end of your script. You have the, the start button if you want to scroll, or want it to scroll automatically, or you can scroll it with your mouse wheel like this. Uh, when you're scrolling, if you, if you happen to be scrolling by itself, this button here will set the speed. You can go really fast or really slow. At any rate, that's the software version that I have. I am looking into getting a hardware version that fits over my camera so that I don't have to keep looking off to the side to see what, it's, what I'm going to say next. For now, that's about all I have to say about teleprompters. <laughs> so uh, please, join me again tomorrow for day four. And until then, take care.